This is an RTV6 update working for you. Hello, I'm Nicole Griffin, and these are the latest headlines from the RTV6 newsroom. Honoring a hero who made the ultimate sacrifice, family, friends and colleagues gathered today honoring the life and service of Southport Police Lieutenant Aaron Allen. It's been two years since Lieutenant Allen was killed after responding to a crash and trying to help the victim inside the car. He was shot several times and died later that night from his injuries. Lieutenant Allen was a huge part of the development of the Southport Police Training Academy. Saturday, new officers walked across the stage, graduating and becoming members of the department. Leaders say there is no better way to remember Lieutenant Allen's honor, dedication and sacrifice as they graduate a new academy. With Aaron's uh, loss, it, it really knocked us it knocked us down. It took us a while to get back up and, and then we, you know, we lost some other officers after that. So anytime that we can honor them and show that they're not forgotten, every one of those officers that we've lost have been an integral part of building the department the way it is. Following the graduation ceremony, Lieutenant Allen's wife and son joined a group outside where they placed his name on the front of this car. It's part of a tribute to all the officers who have been who have lost their life in the last two years. Good news for people living at an apartment complex in Muncie that has been without power for weeks. We've learned as of Saturday, the Muncie Housing Authority says power has been fully restored at Gillespie Tower. Crews are now going door to door to check on residents and make sure there are no problems. This is a story RTV6 first told you about last week after part of the building's electrical system had to be sent to Detroit for repair. As of 3.30 Saturday, all power was expected to be back on. Kyle. And it is going to be a little bit warmer in our Sunday forecast here. A lot of sunshine, so good news for your outdoor plans. Those temperatures climbing around that 90 degree mark. Humidity shouldn't be too much higher than what we had on Saturday, and we'll still have that southwest breeze helping us out just a little bit. Truecast, Monday afternoon and into the evening, that's our next best chance for some showers, a couple of isolated thunderstorms to roll through the area. After that, it's a pretty dry stretch of weather once again as those temperatures gradually warm up from the middle 80s for highs Monday and Tuesday. We're close to 90 by next weekend. Kyle, thank you for more weather and stories that you need to know. Download the RTV6 mobile app. Thanks for joining us.